Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about what I think are the best Shop and Save products. Don't get me wrong, I haven't tried everything on the website, but out of all the things that I have tried, these are definitely worth you checking out. There is still a lot of products. I have makeup, I have skincare, I have tools, and I have brushes. And I wanted to do like a fun blue backdrop. Hopefully this isn't like too overwhelming of color. I got this new one and I haven't used it. And I'm ready for summer. Pretty much all of these products are on my face this is probably gonna be a very long video so let's just go ahead and get started I'm just gonna start with makeup I'll do tools and brushes and skincare at the end I'm just gonna go in order that you would do your face the face category is probably what I would recommend the most out of all of this stuff I do recommend everything but if you are only gonna get a couple things I would definitely recommend the face category I am a little bit sick right now so sorry if my voice gets a little like so the first product is the airway studio wonder skin illuminating face primer this is such a good primer i've only tried this one and the mattifying one which the mattifying one was just weird you can go check out my full face of shabbos makeup if you want to see that it is very similar to the like wet and wild dewy primer that i love as well and that's probably why i love that one this is just super glowy there is shimmer in it but you don't see it on your face it's like more of a light champagne pink kind of color i just love this so much it literally makes your face look like a tin man it smells so good it's really moisturizing the days that i don't wear makeup i just put it on the high points of my face then it looks more like a natural dewy kind of highlight it just looks like my skin is glowing so if you have dry skin or you just really like dewy illuminating primers i so recommend this this next product is the aoa studio perfect bb cream and i have mine in fair it is a smidge bit dark for me maybe a shade not even a shade this is super healthy looking it's pretty thick surprisingly but it blends out very easily it's super moisturizing and dewy i wouldn't say that this is medium coverage a high light coverage if you know what i'm saying i kind of have a few spots and it didn't cover them completely it evens out your skin tone i love this i don't build it up at all i just put on a couple little dots all over my face i do feel like i get more coverage with a brush when i use a sponge it's a lot more dewy i kind of like it with a brush a little more and then i just go over it with a sponge to kind of like even everything out it doesn't look cakey at all it doesn't settle on my texture it's just so good the only thing is it does smell like baby powder it doesn't bother me i like how on the back of each aoa studio product they say what it is how to use it and all the ingredients and everything on shop say is cruelty free as well the next product is also by aoa studio and this is the perfect setting powder this is in the shade soft light i really like this color it pretty much just blends in my skin tone if you're pale like me this will actually match you this is such a soft powder it just makes my skin feel so smooth and mattifies it sets but it still leaves a little bit of a dewy finish i always press in my translucent powder any powder with a sponge and it just gives it such a healthy look but it still sets i have this on my under eyes and all over my face and it just makes them feel so smooth looks smooth and it doesn't crease all three of these face products combined just give me the most natural but still a little bit of a medium cover for bronzer contour whatever the thing that i would recommend is this makeover essentials contour kit this is a dollar as everything is it says that it retails for 39 i don't know about that it's so creamy i love the powders in here as well there's the powders they pretty much just blend into my skin this powder has a little bit of a creamy highlight to it most natural highlight if you can see that these powders set really nicely i've just been using the aoa studio powder and i'll use them to like clean up if i put too much blush on that's what i did today mostly this is for the contours slash bronzers and i use this shade for a contour and then i mix all three together for a bronzer that's what i have on my cheeks today these are such creamy powders so that's what they look like right there they blend super easily if i put too much on i just really like these i've seen some videos where people say they're chalky but i don't think they're chalky at all i don't know if i would ever pay 39 dollars for it it's good while it's a dollar it comes with a mirror the packaging is a little bit bulky and weird because it's like metal it also comes with a really good brush it's really good for contouring and also setting the under eyes that's mostly what i use it for it's actually a good brush none of the hairs have fallen out it's really soft next is blush because i'm going to talk about these at the same time y'all probably saw this coming if you've seen any of my shop missay videos this is the amuse blush in sunsets it's just the super pretty peachy color it's really pigmented but it's really pretty it's not patchy this is such a pretty blush it smells like cheap makeup 
This is really pigmented if you find the right brush to apply with it, which I'll talk about in a second. Then it's good. I also have the Clean Color Miss Chick Universally Flattering Blush in Mauve. It's this super deep pink. Now, this one is a little bit powdery. If you can see those chunks, you just tap off your brush. This one is also super pigmented. My favorite brush to apply this with is this AOA Studio F22, and it's this angled brush, which I never thought I would like. If you watched any of my videos recently, then you know I've like raved about this brush. It's dense, but at the same time, it's loose. Whenever you tap your brush in this once, tap it off and kind of tap some off your hand too, because this is so pigmented. I put way too much on earlier. It's just disperses it so evenly, because me personally, whenever I apply one of these blushes with a stipple brush, it kind of puts streaks on my face this one just applies it so evenly so well so beautifully this is the only brush i've been using for blush it's literally perfect the whole set is worth this one even though i love the whole set but you know that's definitely the brush that i recommend you apply this with because these are so pigmented it can go overboard really easily that was the only reason i never used them in the beginning was because they were so pigmented but i have these mixed today i know i just felt like using both of them this one is definitely my most used just because it is such a pretty peachy coral color they're both very matte which i will really love for highlighters these are the aoa studio wonder baked highlighters in cream puff and cloud i'm wearing cream puff today but i do have a little bit of cloud on like the highest point of my cheek and i have cloud on the inner corner Cloud on the brow well. Cream puff is my favorite just because it's like really perfect for my skin tone. I feel like I've talked about this a whole lot. That one's cream puff. It's not too great of a swatch. There's cloud. But once again, I've also talked about this a billion times on my channel. I feel like I spray my face with my setting spray first and then apply these. If you don't apply these with a wet base like this, look at this. The shimmer will just flick everywhere. You won't get this intense of a glow. It won't look as pretty. They're really dry. I do recommend you scraping off the first layer as well look at that mm. they just look so beautiful and smooth whenever you do that now onto the eyeballs if you also watch any of my tutorials i always started off with the santi super smooth concealer i'm pretty sure this one is number eight this is the most creamy stick concealer ever i don't like this on my face though it's like covers up all the veins it just gives me a nice base i do set it but i always set my concealer it doesn't look dry on my eyelids but then whenever i put it anywhere else it just looks a little dry and it doesn't cover as well on my face as it does on my eyes which makes no sense but it's fine it's just the best base since it's a concealer it comes in different colors so you can use this for whatever skin tone and the only eyeshadows i'm going to talk about are these la colors matte eyeshadows nothing else that i've tried has really blown me away and i don't think i've actually tried any like shimmer eyeshadows from them. The one that I totally recommend if you're only going to pick up one is Mattifying because it's the perfect neutral palette as your cream to set your eye. It has like two transition shades, a cooler one and a pinkier one. You have a deeper one to like deepen the outer corner or use as liner. You can't really see these three but on the eyes they're beautiful. They're so creamy. These are like the four essential shadows I feel like. These are the only four shadows on the top of my eye right now. Then we have this one in Matarama. There's the white, gray, blue, black. These blend so well all of these do this is more of your smoky palette and um, you have your pop of blue this one is like a newer one and also not my favorite but it's still really good this is in magnificent that lighter mauvey shade that you can barely see isn't as pigmented and these three like darker shades they're definitely not as easy to blend if i try and put this in the crease it's a lot harder to blend but these three are fine to blend in the crease i have this one on as like my wing right now and then i kind of defined it a little bit with this black in here on the more inner corner i have this blue i just love all those there's only one that i don't have and then i have these three glitter liners i know i called those two colored liners which i really like but i just haven't tried them out enough to say like they're the best because i don't know how they wear things like that i'm mentioning these as glitter they actually say on the website not to use on your eyes but i don't really care this is the gold one this is galaxy and this is silver i have the silver one on the very like lower inner corner this one is gold this one is galaxy and this one's silver galaxy has like all sorts of different colors in it i love using these for like the inner corner or like putting over some eyeshadow like to give it some more of like a glittery pop they aren't concentrated enough to use like as a standalone eyeliner they don't like flake off on your face throughout the day i really like these for lashes i love the aoa studio lashes my all-time favorite are the alexis as you'll know they just have a nice winged and they're kind of just wispy i really love them they're easy to apply they have a thin invisible band i wore my alexis lashes like a 
11 times at least. They last really well as well. For the most exciting part, the lips. First, I'm going to talk about these liners. My favorite formulas are the LA Colors Auto Lip Liners and then the AOA Studio Pencils. Auto Lip Liners, I just love because they're twist up. They are really creamy, but they do have a little bit of grip to them, so they aren't just like sliding everywhere. I have Burgundy, Fiery Red, and Mauve. These Wonder Lip Pencils by AOA Studio. They're so creamy. Like, I barely touched it at all. So grimy. And I have Insta and Vintage. I never know what the wear of lip liners is because they just go under lipstick, but you know. The only lip products I'm going to mention are these AOE Studio Wonder Matte Liquid Lipsticks. The only thing that's annoying is that they literally are so sticky all the time. So I put a gloss on top of this just because it was so sticky. Some of them do dry down completely and get a little drying, but then they still stick, which makes no sense. Today I have on Nude and I dotted a little bit of trend on top of it i really love the applicator of these because they're pretty stiff and my two favorites slash most used are tease and faded i have muse nude trend faded and tease from here to here that's the first thing you'll get is butthole lips you won't just wear off evenly it applies over itself really easily so if you just have to apply it in the inner part you just put it on it doesn't mess it up at all that's all the makeup now i'm going to move on to the two skincare products i have salavi sheet mask and tea tree and y'all know i love this it's literally like a miracle mask i pretty much just save this for whenever i have really bad skin days my favorite hydrating mask is the beauty treats vitamin e skin brightening natural pearl mask this is super good super hydrating put a thick layer on let it sink into my skin and then i wash it off it's so moisturizing and i don't feel like i have to have a moisturizer after it but i do because i dry skin it does have a little bit of a burning sensation at first but then it goes away and it just like works and it smooths out all your texture and it's amazing and i've talked about both of those and all my skincare videos so that's why i went through it super fast then I'm going to talk about the three tools that I have. AOA Studio Wonder Blender, the Paw Paw Charity one, so it's like super bouncy and I want to get like both of the other types to try them because I love this so much. It just blends out your creams, liquids, powders, everything really well. It doesn't soak up product. I talked about this in my What I've Been Loving recently video. I just realized I have four tools and this one is the AOA Studio Scrubby Facial Thing. I've also talked about this in every single one of my skincare videos. This is just so good for gentle exfoliation, like it barely does any exfoliation. I always use this for taking off clay masks because they're really hard to take off and this kind of like gives you an extra bit of exfoliation but also gets it all off. This one is the AOA Studio Mirror. It's just perfect, like the hand mirror. You don't realize how much you need this until you have it and then you're like, whoa. You can get like right up to your face because it's not like sticking out. The fourth one is the AOA Studio Pure Cotton Squares. I also talked about this in my recent favorites video. They're literally perfect. I mostly use these for toner just because I'll put the amount of toner that I used to put on like my other cotton pads but then it's way too much these save so much product and i also have used these to remove my makeup and even though they're small they remove my entire face because it just is like soaked with the makeup remover and it's so good i just love these so much there's only 40 of them in here but it's so so worth it now to the brushes i know i'm starting to talk really fast but i just feel like this video is gonna be 10 years long first is the I don't know what this is called. It comes with 10 brushes. I so recommend both of these sets. Most of the focus on this is face brushes. This is the F21 and I love this for bronzer. It's so soft. The F23, it's like a flathead brush. I used this for the BB cream the last two times I've done it. Now this does poke if you do this. Even if you do this, there is a lot of poke. So that's the only thing but I can kind of deal with it. This blends out so fast. This is the only prickly brush. The F23, which I already talked about that I love for blush. It's literally the perfect brush the f25 and this is just like a pointed brush it's gonna be really good for under eyes i don't really use brushes for my under eyes i'll go over like my blush or contour or whatever with this with extra powder and like kind of clean it up the f24 is great for contouring that's what i always use for contouring now there are also eye brushes the only eye brush that i really focus on using this e139 i love it for the brow bone where the eye brushes are is this 10 piece pink Pop off charity brush set. I'm just gonna go through them super fast. I love all these brushes. The only one that I don't get the most use out of is the E125. I'll use this for either setting my lid or just buffing out everything. E128 is kind of like a pointed brush, so I can use this for a more detailed transition shade. Then I also use it to blend out my lower lash line. The E127 and E126 I both use for like pretty much my whole entire eye look when I use these. This one's just more fluffy. I use it for like my Oliver transition shade. This one is the one that I used for my whole entire yellow makeup look, and I'll link that up here. This one's just like more dense and 
packs the color on more. This one is also one that I don't use too much, and this is the E129. I'll use it to blend. If I have a cut crease or like anything sharp like on the lid, then I'll use this because it is pointed to kind of blend that harsh line. The E131 is a good flat shader brush for cleaning up the brows. This E134 is good for detail work on the lower lash line, and then also for like a more detailed inner corner. E133, and at first it shed a lot, and I was like, this is one that I do not like, but then I used it today, and I really liked it for my brows because it stopped shedding. E130 is just another blending brush that I use. The E132 is also one that I use more for the lower lash line and then for detailed outer corner work. Three separate brushes that I like are the AOA Studio E124, which I love for my lower lash line. The Princessa eyeshader brush. I love this for baking the wing or my lower lash line. And then my favorite brush is the AOA Studio F19. And this is my favorite highlighter brush. It just packs it on so well. I know that was a lot, but we are finally done with this video. If you watched this whole video, leave a comment down below. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave me your favorite Sean Masse products down below. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and check out any of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!